because you're an adult and you should know how to find your own hikes. Hey, what's going on? It's Matt. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is uh, a Saturday night and I was kind of messing around on Facebook and I came across the question that is asked 100 million times on every Facebook hiking group is where should I go hiking? And it is a question that I absolutely cannot stand, especially when someone does not take the time to actually do the research on their own. And I'm actually sitting in front of my computer right now and I thought this might be a good time to kind of highlight how I find my hikes, how you should find your hikes. And it's really, really simple. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that a lot of people are familiar with this app called All Trails. And I am literally going to take you to my All Trails page and show you how I find hikes. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I haven't talked about this a lot, but I won a Facebook group that I started a year ago from scratch uh, that is called NorCal Hiking. And it has over 12,000 members right now in less than a year. And so we get this question a lot in that particular group. And when I created the group, I said, don't ask that question unless you've gone on all trails and researched some trails in your area. Because when someone says, where should I hike? And if it's specifically for like the Northern California region, or if it's for the Bay Area region, it's such a broad thing because we don't know your skill level. We don't know how long you want to hike. We don't know if you're hiking with dogs. We don't know if you're hiking with, you know, kids, whatever it may be. And frankly, like, just do your own research. I mean, the internet is here to help you. So I'm gonna go down right now and I'm going to go to my All Trails account, which is alltrails.com. And, and here's one of the things too that a lot of people don't realize is that everybody thinks that All Trails is just an app. The app is fantastic. You need it on your phone. And when you do download it, please get the pro version, pay for it because it has some really killer features on it. So I am just gonna log in real quickly and I'm not gonna show you that. I can't even see, oh, there you go. Uh, and I'm just gonna log into my account right now and here we are. We are in the All Trails kind of homepage for the web browser. And so let's just say, hey, look, you know, so here I am up here. Obviously, I don't have any picture. Here's my profile. This is all the stuff. If you're not familiar with the actual web application, you're only familiar with the, um, the, the app, I highly encourage you to go to the web application when you're doing your research just because it's easier to see things on a bigger screen. So let's go up to Explore. And you know what? I happen to be a big fan of hiking where there's waterfalls or running river. And as you can see, because my profile is already created here, they know where I kind of live in Northern California. And they're gonna show me all the trails that are really kind of, you know, near me. And, but you know what? I don't wanna do trails near me. Who wants to hike near their house? Well, maybe some people do, but I personally don't wanna hike down by my house because I don't live close to the mountains. So the first thing that I am going to do is go to difficulty. Okay, I want to do a moderate hike because I just want to take it easy. Then I want to go to length. I don't want to do 100 miles and I don't want to do zero miles. I want to do seven for a day hike. Let's just do seven to 12 is pushing it. Elevation gain, doesn't really matter. Time, well, you know, if I have a time constraint, I can do that here as well. Root type loop, obviously is a loop, out and back, out and back point to point, meaning there's there's different exit points along the way. Rating. This is a customer, not a customer, but it's a hiker rating system. And so I'm gonna talk about one of the negatives that people talk about when they talk about all trails. Some people will be very familiar with the app and they'll have, you know, a lot of experience hiking in general. And they'll say, they'll go, they'll go on all trails and they'll say, hey, I really wanna do this new kind of area. So they pick out a trail and they, and they go to that trail and they realize that it's either private property, it's harder than they thought it was, it's longer than they thought it was, it's just not the hike that they really wanted because they felt like they were misled by the app. Look, this is 
a user generated content app. Meaning sometimes people will do a trail record while they're doing all trails of theirs and all trails will say if people do this enough, all trails will adapt that as the trail when it might not actually be the trail. It's happened to me, I've gotten lost because I followed all trails maps. So you gotta keep that in mind. This isn't done by like the USGS services or the National Forest Services. This is a user generated content page, hence the rankings. And then let's more filters. I just mentioned that, hey, you know, I really do like waterfalls. So activity right here, um, obviously hiking is what I wanna do. Attractions, I want a waterfall. And I want a dog friendly, even though I don't have a dog, but hopefully soon I will. And as you can see, there are no trails by me. So I am going to scroll out and I'm going to literally start going up towards Lake Tahoe because I really want to see waterfalls. And here we go. Now, if you look on the left right here, you'll see Stevens Trail, Tahoe Ta 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 National Forest, Jenkinson's Lake uh, Loop Trail, which I have done, Middle Fork, Capel's, done that. Like, these are all things that I have done before, and they all have different kind of attributes that have either big waterfalls or small waterfalls. If you're not really sure what it looks like, thankfully, because this is a user-generated platform, you can upload pictures. And so if we go to Jenkinson Lake, it gives you the trail map. Oh my goodness, it, it shows you all this stuff. And so, you know, and then if you want even more, go to the pictures part and you can see what it looks like. And that's the waterfall. And just for this particular hike, I've done a video on this. The waterfall is man-made. It's, it's, it's nothing really to get excited about, but that's not my point. My point in this video is, is that when people just generally ask questions on Facebook, you're gonna get guys like me that answer. They're gonna be like, do your research, stop being lazy, uh, get on all trails and come back with us saying, look, I looked at these three hikes, which is the best one for me? And I wanna kind of preface that by saying, not everybody's gonna be like that. I'm like that. And the page that I run, the majority, like 80% of the people that are on that page are like that because that's why I started that page. Uh, and everybody's very kind on that page. We really have no drama, but using all trails is your best way to find new places to hike. Um, it's very, very simple. And, and I think the reason why I wanted to do this really kind of short video is because a lot of people get stuck and hemmed up on the app. And when you get hemmed up on the app, everything is smaller and harder to navigate. Go to your desktop, go to your laptop, get on all trails, sign up for an account. You can do the free one. I did mention before, do the pro one, simply for the fact that when you do the pro one, and I'll go back to this, this particular trail, you can go over here and you can download or save the map. And when you do that, it'll save automatically to your phone. Before you run out of cell service, download that map and you can actually track where you're going on all trails. Be an adult, find your own hikes, Ask for recommendations after you've done your research. All Trails is the best way to go, even if sometimes you get lost. Hey, thanks for watching these things. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Have a great day.